Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Grip Review. I hope you are all doing well. Today I am reviewing the Terava Scrama knife. Check this bad boy out. Isn't that impressive? Check out the handle on this knife. I'm sure you're thinking, that's too huge, how could it be functional? But let me tell you, it is. Go ahead and get comfortable. Let's take a look at it now. Before I begin the review, I do want to talk about where you can purchase this knife at. Now, if you decide to purchase this knife after this review, maybe in the future, whatever, you will be purchasing this directly from Finland, from a military surplus site. The name of this site is vranustalika.com, and I apologize, folks, if I'm butchering that, or the names of anything else. <laughs> I am terrible at pronouncing things, but this site has a nickname of wheresthelicker.com. That's what I refer to it as, and that's pretty funny. Now, this site is pretty dang awesome because you can get all sorts of Finnish military surplus and gear. Also, the fine folks over at this company, they have a very funny sense of humor. So I had a good time going through their website, reading different descriptions and whatnot. Very, very funny. Now, if you decide to purchase this knife or any other gear from this company, when you go there to that website, you will find a link on the right-hand side that says country. When you click on that, you can select the United States and it will alter all the prices into dollars instead of euros. So there you go. Now, with this knife, it is made especially for wheresthelicker.com. So you will not find this anywhere else. Oh yeah. I will start off here with a look at the sheath. As you can see, this is made from leather. Nice belt loop. Snap right here to hold it into place. It does have a plastic insert. You can see these ridges. That's so you can use your thumb to push the blade out. I'll go ahead and stick that in for you. So just like that. When pushed in, it's a nice good fit. As you can see here, it has a D-ring, so this does swivel. Very nice touch. Also, you have a grommet down here at the bottom for the leg tie, if you decide to do so, and I do recommend it. The truth is, this knife is very, very long to have on your hip. I like mounting this on my backpack myself. Now, when it comes to the dimensions for this knife, this is 430 millimeters long. The blade itself is 240 millimeters. The blade thickness is 4 millimeters. When it comes to weight, this is 18 ounces, or 1.1 pounds, or 525 grams. Also with the grip, this is a molded rubber, texturized. Your hand does not slip from this, feels good. This blade offers you full tang construction. Right here you have a hole for a wrist strap or for a lanyard. When it comes to the steel, this is carbon steel, 80 CR V2. Now that means that this is a ruster. Yes, this blade will rust without some care. And it may actually arrive to you with just a little bit of rust, but that's easy to take care of. This is a blade that you will need to pay attention to. Wipe it off when it's wet and so on. Now when it comes to the blade itself, as you can see here, it is slightly curved. Also, this has two different edges on it. One of them is right here, and this is 25 degrees. And that's for whittling and really, really fine work. The rest of this edge has been sharpened to 34 degrees for heavy duty chopping. Now you can see the hole right here in the top of the blade and many people probably ask what is that for? Yes, you can hang this on a wall if you want to but that is not the main purpose. Essentially this hole is here so they can straighten the blade during the manufacturing process. Now when it comes to the grip here, as you can see it is extra long and this is what they call a one and a half grip. So you could be up here for really fine work, whittling, fire starting and so on or you can go back here for heavy duty chopping. Now one thing that I want to show you here is just how well balanced this knife is. Very, very even. Most of the time when you have blades like this, the weight is up front, but not here. It's evenly balanced so you can do all sorts of good work with it. Essentially, this is an all-in-one blade. It's a chopper. It's a small hatchet. It's a bill hook. It's also a machete. Camp chopper. You can whittle with it incredibly sharp, even after all of the work that I've done with it razor sharp. Now folks, I have to say that I have been really, really impressed with this knife. 
I've had this for the last, I don't know, month or so, and I have really, just to be honest, beaten the hell out of this knife. And I mean, the blade continues to be razor sharp. I love the fact that it has the dual edges on it. So, I mean, you could really hunker down, you could do some nice feather sticks, or you can go back and really do some chopping. You know, for around the camp sort of work, this can replace a small hatchet. Not an ax, but a small hatchet. It really can. I've used this to chop wood, I've used it to baton wood, to make feather sticks, even to whittle spoons. When it comes to the sheath, I really do like it as well. Very, very nice quality. I really have to say that about the entire blade. Extremely nice quality. Well thought out. Now, to be honest, it is a little bit too long, in my opinion, for a belt knife. As you can see there, it's just a little bit too long. You would definitely want to make sure to have a leg strap, have that tied down. Having this attached to your backpack, nice and easy. Grab it, use it, put it up. Make sure to wipe off that blade though. Because as I mentioned, this is what we call a ruster. It's very strong steel, very easy to sharpen, but it will rust. So give it some care, give it some attention, and this will last forever. Now folks, we have taken a look at the knife here. You guys have seen it in action. We've gone over the stats. Let me ask you all a question. How much do you think it costs at the wheresthelicker.com website? Go ahead and comment down below, and in five seconds, I will give you the answer. It's definitely not what I would expect. All right, time's up. This knife will run you $83 straight from Finland. And let me tell you, boys and girls, they know what they are doing. Very, very impressive. $83 for a blade like this? That is insane. <laughs> I'm blown away at that price. And I'm sure you guys are as well. Especially when you look at products that are readily available here in the United States. $83 for a blade like this? Wow, that is incredible. Now for most people, if you combine the Scramma with a smaller blade, they will be absolutely set for the outdoors. And they would be prepared for just about any chore that came their way. The Scramma is a very, very impressive blade. This is something that I will take with me when I'm out bushcrafting. I doubt I will take this with me when I'm out backpacking because typically I don't take a hatchet and I don't take large knives. But when I'm out bushcrafting or camping, yeah, absolutely. I, I tell you what, I can't wait to go bushcrafting with this blade. Now, as I mentioned before, this knife is available only through fernustalicca.com or wheresthelicker.com. And guys, I really do apologize if I'm butchering that. <laughs> I'm from the South. I'm a country boy. So these, these words are really, really hard to pronounce. So uh, yeah, forgive me. But yes, it's only available through wheresthelicker.com international orders they can do them all like i said just head over there you can always email them they're pretty great about getting back in touch with you yeah that's pretty much it overall it's a great blade at a great price i'm really really impressed if you guys have any questions for me you know what to do for all things related to the outdoors stay here with the outdoor gear review strength and honor yeah <laughs> Caught ya, just barely. <laughs>